just dropped Ron off. We're down where I was at the other day. Saw those three doe cross the road. I got in here. I got a buck and two doe. Jumped him out of that bed. Two days ago, I come down to this spot where I saw the three deer cross the road and I found that fresh buck bed and a bunch of rubs. So today, it's January 13th, I picked up my buddy Ron and I dropped him off about 200 yards to the east on the other side of this bench. He messaged me a little bit ago, said he videoed a flock of turkeys. And turkeys are cool as shit. Literally, I'm sitting in my chair. My leg out like, basically sitting like this, my leg out. Expecting it, you can see that trail goes that way and you can see they cross the road right here. So I'm thinking this is kind of perfect, you know. And it's like, like oh cool, a turkey. Like see, you know, I'm sitting here, right here, this little clearing where the trail is. They milled around in here for three, four minutes, man. Never noticed I was here. I'm just sitting here like this, freaking zooming in, zooming out. And they're freaking flapping around. Wait, do you see the video? It's cool. This year has been a strange season because up on the public land where I've been hunting, a lot of my good spots, I haven't seen a whole lot of doe. I don't really want to call them out, but I kind of feel like the game commission is pushing these deer towards the DMAP areas. So all the years I've been hunting these public land areas, I've never gone very long without seeing deer. I mean, yeah, early archery season, I was seeing some good bucks, but no doe. Two days ago was the first time I actually came down to this section in public land, which is quite a bit further than I usually go. It's probably about 22 miles further. And I get down in here and all of a sudden I'm seeing doe. I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense. Hellfire going on today. And all the D-map areas. There's two D-map areas here. We're here in late archery season, PA. You're allowed to use the rifle. The one D-map doesn't have a special regulation, so you can use any rifle. The other D-map to my south has to be a straight wall cartridge in that D-map area. So I dropped Ron off and I drove down and parked where I parked two days ago. I got out of the truck, started walking up the road to come down into the woods, looked down across the marsh and there was a buck and two doe heading out towards Ron. On the other side of this little patch of brush, there's a marsh and then there's another patch of laurel and thick brush. About 75 yards further, there's a fresh buck bed in there. And that's where the three deer came across here. Came right across and headed out that direction. So I worked my way down into here. Got a little funnel, freshwater stream that runs right here. And it goes right over there to the creek. Got a fresh scrape over there about 40 yards. The wind's blowing this direction, towards the creek. I was really hoping those deer would have went past Ron up there. All right, so I decided to get up from where I was sitting, work my way up towards Ron, thinking maybe I'm gonna push something to him. We'll see. I got myself on a pretty good trail here. Right there's the trail. Got trail goes out of Long Creek. There's another heavy trail. And there's rubs all the way out through. Like hammered. Got some fresh grapes here. And they were just used. Ron is up over that little ridge, so when those deer come down through they probably come out through here. So we totally missed them. These freaking trails are lying off everywhere.
that's just ripped up. Yeah, so there were some pretty fresh tracks I just come up through on. I should be getting pretty close to around by now. Who knows where he's at? He might have went for a walk. That man can't sit still for an hour. There's Ron. There's a fresh street. Right over there. Just where you can see the road. Parked his truck. He was going this way, but he parked on this side of the road. I was like, what's he doing, man? Park that way. So I popped my head up and I where the split trees are and there's that log laying down. I just walked up under there and he freaking took off and I freaking saw an asset. So he caught her crossing the road. He keyed me into it, but it out that way. I, I come down along the bottom of the creek, about 20 yards up from the creek. Yeah. I, was, I followed the tracks where the deer went in the bottom. Yeah. Right out through the, just over the bend here. Yeah. Straight out through. What, you walk, you walk behind me? I can, I just come up over here. That same trail you walked in on, I was gonna walk out, but I'm like, no, nah, I don't wanna walk out towards Bill. And I wanted to see what was down there. I'm like, that's too thick. I'll just sit up here, you know. Just as good a chance catching right here. I'm pretty sure those deer come up through down there. And if you missed them, maybe they crossed the creek somehow. I'm thinking they went down across the creek, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have, when I got out of the truck, I didn't have anything ready. I saw the three deer running up from where I saw that buck bed. Yeah. And I just haul ass up through, get into a spot. I thought for sure they were gonna come right up by you. All right. So I decided to take a little walk. That's an old scrape that we were hitting. I was sitting right under that one right there. So something kept pulling me back. This little grove of pines. I was like, man, if I was a deer, I'd bet under there just for a minute, you know? So I walked over. I'll bet this is a trail I just came off of. There's a straight from here. That's what you said about that straight through. I'm like, I wonder if they came right through on the, the opposite edge of this thick stuff, you know? Right beside that log, how it's going down. Yeah, that's the trail I came off of. <laughs> yeah, this one. Really? Yeah. Did you see the bed then? No, I. I cut up down around this bend. Buck bed. With deer poopy from yesterday, last night. Just over the knuckle so he can catch the wind coming off the edge. That's a good one. Yep, he was sitting right here. That wind's coming, been all day. It's been coming this way, like just out of the northwest. That trail's right there. So he can watch whatever's coming in on the trail. He's got bailouts down in there. So I don't think he's been bending there a lot, but a few times it looks like he's been in here. Yeah, that was pretty recent. Hey, look at the poop. It's still squishy. Nice. So he was in here maybe last night or yesterday, night before. There's a bunch of trails right here that split, <coughs> split off all over the place. Yeah, it basically goes uh, east to west right here, though. As soon as it goes, because like you said, where that drop off is into the creek. There's a jump down in, probably like an escape trail or something like that, but yeah. So I just came down here to, nah, I wonder if they're sneaking down over this edge on me. Boop. And you can tell they've been in here a while. Look how this is all cut out. They've been walking this while. All these branches through here. They just blow out. My wind was constant. I was warm. I didn't have heavy breeze. The breeze was blowing over me. So I'm thinking this might be, I didn't check it, but it's probably a good thermal spot. Pretty easy spot to miss if you're not paying attention, you know it. So you come right up, curves right around in here, and then that trail comes in here. So I'm gonna say there's probably an inner side in low, there's an intersecting trail right down in here. Looks like there's another one right here. So, and this is right where the turkeys came up. They came walking right up in through here, stopped right at that little set of laurels, and they kind of hung out in there. 
I don't know turkeys that well, but I think there's a lead hen. You only heard one cluck. She just about faced like that way. And then they were all like, oh, follow mom. <laughs> I can't wait to watch your video again because I was kind of bouncing back and forth trying not to get busted by it. Like, I don't know if I ever had a turkey in that one. Good day out. <laughs>